Well, 2020 wasn't just a significant year because of the pandemic. It also brought about protests over racial and social justice, a highly contentious election and political cycle, driving up higher rates of harassment and even assault for a number of communities, including Jewish residents. At a time when our nation was in lockdown, advocacy groups tracked the third highest rate of anti-Semitic incidents on record in New Jersey a problem that existed long before COVID-19. Leah Michigan reports as part of Exploring Hate, our ongoing series on anti-Semitism, racism, and extremism. Advocates say it's been brewing for years. So New Jersey is definitely one of the hotspots uh, in the country. In the United States in 2019, the FBI hate crime report showed of the 1,715 victims of anti-religious hate crimes, 60.2% were victims of crimes motivated by offenders' anti-Jewish bias. A new Pew Research poll tracking responses from U.S. Jews beginning in 2019 ultimately found concerns about anti-Semitism have risen among American Jews. Three quarters say there is more anti-Semitism in the United States than there was five years ago. Dan Rosette is Community Relations and Israel Engagement Manager at Jewish Federation in the heart of New Jersey. A lot of what um, we've seen uh, comes from uh, within the schools um, between uh, K through 12, which is disturbing and which is uh, a sign that um, more education is needed. Even though numbers from the Anti-Defamation League show a decrease in anti-Semitic incidents from 2019 to 2020 in New Jersey, the director for the region, Scott Richmond, says they would have been considerably higher were it not for the lockdown and school closures. The trajectory was there. We could see that in January and February of 2020, there was a considerable increase over uh, those same numbers for 2019. Uh, 2019 was a historically high year for anti-Semitism across the nation and in New Jersey. The trend is the same across the United States. The report shows a 4% decrease of incidents from 2019 to 2020, but even in a pandemic, it was still the third highest number on record since ADL began tracking anti-Semitic incidents in 1979. Fast forward to April 2021 and the reigniting of conflict between Israel and Hamas. Reports say attacks against both Jews and Palestinians have risen globally as a result. And if you're familiar with the IRA definition uh, of anti-Semitism, in that working definition, holding Jews responsible for anything that happens in Israel is considered anti-Semitism. So of course it concerns me. Warning videos of the attacks you're about to see might be disturbing earlier this week in West Hollywood, California. We're here outside Sushi Fumi in West Hollywood. A group of Palestinians, about 30 of them, jumped out of a car and asked who was Jewish. Two guys said they were, and they proceeded to beat them up. Some of the more recent attacks against Jews have been documented on social media. Earlier this week in Miami, Mayor Gabriel Grossman tweets, yesterday evening, a Jewish family from New Jersey was taking a walk in Ball Harbor when, according to the visitors, an SUV pulled up to them and began screaming anti-Semitic profanities. F.U. Jew, die Jew, free Palestine, and even threatened to rape the woman in the group before throwing debris out the window. And just yesterday in New York City, disturbing videos appear to show vile verbal assaults and fireworks directed at Jews. ADL CEO writes. <laughs> According to the ADL, in the week after the crisis began, there were 193 reported incidents in the United States compared to 131 the previous week. Hamas and Israel have agreed to a ceasefire. Richmond says it's also happening online. Disturbing clips like this one in Milan, Italy. Since the outbreak, and we've seen 17,000 tweets which use the variation of the phrase Hitler was right, um, basically between May 7th and May 14th. Hate against uh, any of us, uh, we should all be shocked by. People need to use their bully pulpit and say this is wrong. People should be reporting hate. They should be reporting misinformation. Dan Rosette says they're prepared if indeed they see similar events happen in New Jersey. A community alert system was already in the works and they're in close contact with law enforcement. They have also reached out to members of Congress to take a stand against the anti-Semitic rhetoric happening in this country. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.
Major funding for Exploring Hate has been provided by the Sylvia A. and Simon B. Poiter Programming Endowment to Fight Antisemitism, the Peter G. Peterson and Joan Gans Cooney Fund, and Patty Asquith Kenner.